Hey guys, what's happening? So, take a look. Just picked this up at Micro Center, and it was $249, and it's a Asus ROG Strix gaming graphics card uh, with six gigabit of memory, gigabyte, sorry, and uh, GDR6 memory, and it's a, N or a G or NVIDIA uh, 1660 Super. I'm not sure what Super means, but. Um, so, yeah, I don't actually game, so this is not really for gaming. Um, I actually do more like with, uh, I do 3D modeling with like Fusion 360. And um, I also uh, do cryptocurrency mining at nighttime. Uh, I currently have six different rigs running uh, cryptocurrency, or mining cryptocurrency. Uh, so that's actually what I use for this for at night. So I wanted something with a lot of, uh, a lot of video RAM and a fast processor, obviously, to make some money. Um, Ethereum. But uh, let's take a look at this thing. Not the cheapest card out there. I mean, they actually had they had a four giga, uh, gigabyte one, and it was about 184. But um, I don't change my video cards very often. Like I, my current video card is uh, is two two gigabyte, and it's I've had it for a couple years. So um, I mean, I like to obviously put a little more money in the better one. Um, yeah, one of the things are if I actually have four I have four monitors, so I needed a video card that could actually drive four different monitors. That it's uh, yeah, it's sort of a massive um, video card. This is definitely not a small video card. Um, and it has a eight pin uh, power connector, and it has should have two Display Port and two HDMI. So I actually got some um, all my monitors, my quad monitors are all DVI. So it's it's two HDMI and it should be two Display Port too. So. I put it back in there. That's your display port. So I got some uh, display port adapters. Got two of these six foot uh, display port 1.1 to DVI adapter. And this is going to be going into a, uh, I'll bring the computer out because I have to put it in. But it's going into a HP Elite, Elite Desk uh, Core i7, uh, 32 gig RAM, 500 gig solid state drive. So the computer itself is actually pretty fast. But I was actually noticing some glitching. I, I currently have a G4750, and uh, at the time it was the only one I could find that actually had quad monitor out for, at a decent price. So that was like probably I mean, probably three years ago, four years ago. I'm not even sure. Um, all right, let's get the computer out here and do the upgrade. But obviously a much bigger video card than I currently have. I'll, I'll show you that. But is that on off button? I'm guessing some sort of light. All right. Uh, Right, let's get this thing out and we'll get the computer going. Alright, so here's my uh, current computer. Like I said, it's a HP Elite Desk 800 G1. And I have 32 gig of RAM in it. Core i7, I can't remember the number of it. And uh, Samsung 500 gig solid state drive. And this is actually kind of a weird motherboard. It's a proprietary power supply. So it's not like your typical like a 24 pin ATX power supply. It's like this weird 6 pin uh, ATX power supply. And uh, I should even check to see if the water was enough for the, uh, but it should be pretty close. Um, so I have this adapter piece right here. It breaks off a uh, serial ATA uh, power. And right now, currently it's six pin. I currently need a car, but there's an eight pin option for it. So that should work, hopefully. We'll see. All right, so I gotta take a look at this old video card. I can't, but this is a yeah, gigabyte. And, um, What's funny is I, I actually work in IT, and uh, I'm used to uh, using the term gigabit because I work in uh, communications. So I use gigabit more than gigabyte. So, all right, so I get this thing out. This current card, it was uh, two uh, HDMI and two DVI. Yeah, this is actually just a really bad design. Weird computer. Um, look at this. So right behind this big 16X PCI slot, you have this big USB 3 connector, and then... I mean, obviously this thing is provisioned for these full-length cards because you have this in the back. But, man, it doesn't make any sense. So I don't know if I can even fit the card in this slot. 
Look at that. How is that dumb or what? That's literally not thinking. All right. See? Right, this probably has to be one of the stupidest computers I've ever seen. Uh, one thing, like I said, they have this thing behind the main PCI slot. And the secondary one, which you think would, uh, like I said, this is a high-end computer. This is a lead disc. So this is designed for like high-end like graphics work or whatever. Um, the second card, you got this thing, but then you have this weird space right here. And then another opening. So it doesn't fit in there. I mean, how dumb is that? I mean, um, you have issues on both PCI Express slots. See that right there? I mean, what the hell? I might have to dis disable my friend USB 3.0 to make it work. It's ridiculous. Um, hmm. That's super, super annoying. You know, like I said, this is supposed to be a high-end computer. I might just scrap this thing, take the processor out, the stuff out, and get it from motherboard. This is frustrating me. Alright, got it working on the 8-pin power. And to get this thing in there, I had to actually move back the serial ATA slots. Thank God there was more than uh, just two in there. But I moved it back to like 5 and 6. So, that barely clears. So, kind of bugged. I don't get my USB 3.0 ports in the front anymore. But, um, yeah, I'm just doing this for better 3D printing. And uh, so I'm going to go back and I'll show you my quad monitor setup. So now I'm actually I can take it off my test bench and go back to my uh, main workstation area. There's my workstation installed, and that's my quad monitor setup. So definitely uh, nice as an IT guy to be able to troubleshoot connections. Um, you know, a quad monitor, yeah, you know, I can actually look at servers and clients at the same time. I can see in real time how they're connected, and, and I can troubleshoot that way. But um, that's my video camera system. Also, you can see my Bronco. My F-250 backyard. And that's Fusion 360. And just, you know, it's nice having four monitors. Do multiple things. But you kind of need to have hardware to do it. You know, it's, to do it right, you need you need a video card that can control four monitors. Those little, those little USB dongle adapter things suck. They don't work right. So, especially if you want any sort of performance. So, yeah, it's a nice video card so far. It's, uh, like I said, six gigabytes of memory. And, uh, you know, one of the latest you know, processor technology, it's GPU technology, so, um, hopefully we'll see some improvements. Yeah, I was seeing a little bit of, like, a. sometimes it would, it would sputter a little bit, you know, and slow down, you know, in Fusion 360, so hopefully that will help out. Um, I mean, I'm not even working with complex models, so. All right, cool, so that's what it looks like with a quad monitor set. All right, awesome.